today's video is going to cover how to create a sunset in Adobe Animate as well as we're going to cover the gradient transform tool how to add a color to your palette um, the changing color using a shape tween and how to animate a shape tween in motion um, but differently from before this time instead we're going to use the gradient transform tool uh, versus just creating one shape on one side inserting a blank keyframe and inserting another shape on another side we're going to do it differently this time so you're going to kind of get a uh, a few more tips and tricks on how shape tweens can really um, be beneficial to your animation process so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to select my square tool and then here on my fill color I'm going to start with this rainbow and I'm going to go ahead and call this linear by default gradient by default the fill colors in Adobe animate we have a few down here at the bottom the first one being a linear uh, black and white gradient the next one a radial one the next one is a circular or radial uh, red gradient the following one green radial blue radial and then we have these two ones uh, sort of these soft colors linear gradient and the last one's a rainbow I'm gonna start with the rainbow and I just wanted to go ahead and show you that by default in the uh, the default swatch that you have these here so I'm going to go ahead with my uh, rectangle tool and I'm going to go ahead and just run a click and drag and cover my stage. Now one other thing I definitely need to make sure that I have is I need to make sure I have one more layer and I'm going to call this night sky. And what I'm going to do with the night sky is I'll, I'll get to it in a minute. I'm going to stick with this linear gradient but I just wanted to make sure I had it in there. So I locked it. I don't have anything on it yet. I'm going to go ahead and show you in a moment what we need to do to the night sky. So the linear gradient, in order to access your gradient transform tool, click and hold on the free transform tool and go to gradient transform tool. Now what I can do is I can select this gradient. This only works with gradients. And I'm going to hold shift and you'll notice while holding shift I can snap it at 45 degree angles, 90, so on and so forth. So I w it starts like this. I want to go ahead and make it vertical. The other thing you can do with the gradient transform tool with linear gradients is you can adjust the size of it as well. And you can also adjust the position. But that's really where you're limited to with the gradient transform tool as far as linear gradients go. Now the other thing I want to do and show you is how do I change color? So I'm going to click on my palette here with my gradient selected and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start to change these colors. So you'll notice a little plus sign. I'm going to just click right anywhere where the, I have that little plus icon next to the pointer, right underneath the pointer, and it adds a color. If I want to click and uh, I, if I want to remove a color, I want to click on that color. It'll have a little black arrowhead here and then I'm gonna just gonna click and drag it off and that deletes a color. Now the next thing I wanna do is I kinda wanna just get rid of some of these colors that I don't think I need. I'm not gonna need a green. And I'm starting to get the color of sort of this sunset. I'm gonna take this blue and bring it over here. And I'm just sliding these around to sort of get this color that I'm color scheme that I'm going for. And on the last one, what I'm going to do is bring this over. I'm going to add one more. And this one I'm going to make black. But the other thing I'm going to do to it is I'm going to change the alpha. You'll see the alpha here. And I'm going to make that zero. So now I've got, I'm just going to slide these around until it looks a little bit more how I want it to. So this alpha is at zero. So it goes from a blue to a red, yellow, pink, another red or orange, and uh, 
black alpha zero so it has no color on this one okay so now when I go back here and I take a look at my color palette you'll see I've got a number of it, it is exactly what I set it to be so I can bring it out a little bit and what I'm gonna first do is I'm gonna bring it up here and I just grabbed my, from my transform uh, anchor point here and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out to frame 120 it'll give me five seconds of animation and I'm gonna insert frame and on this very last frame I'm going to create insert blank keyframe excuse me insert blank keyframe oh that's not what I meant not insert blank keyframe insert keyframe excuse me insert keyframe so now I have the same exact shape on frame 1 and frame 121 in this case so on frame 121 I insert a keyframe excuse me and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag this down here so now when I go back over on frame one it plays and there won't be any animation yet because we haven't added it yet so the next thing I'm going to do is in here I'm going to create shape tween so you'll notice at the very last frame it was blank now I have my shape tween playing so I, I just picture this is like a blue sky right and then as the sunset comes down there we go so the other thing I want to do is and the other things I can do if I wanted to like make it last a little bit longer or whatever zoom out a little bit now the one thing just be careful of it doesn't give you like infinite space upwards only downwards so just be careful of that alright so now something like that um, it plays exactly how I want it to but now I need to make sure I have something in the in the sky so on this layer I can use the rectangle tool or the other thing I can do is I can go ahead and just in my properties scroll down here a little bit change my stage color to black and then I'm just gonna use my brush tool and one more thing before I change my fill color I'm gonna go in here add to swatches and I should have a new color here which is my new radial or my new linear gradient for a sunset so you can see that I just added that color to my swatches now that I've got my stage as uh, set to black what I'm gonna do here give myself there we go I'm gonna unlock my night sky and I'm gonna lock my linear sky I'm gonna zoom back in and I'm just creating little stars just clicking around the stage like so alright so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit play and just show you I get something like that. If I mess around with the color scheme a little bit, bit more, it'll start to look more and more um, realistic to what a natural looking sunset would look like. But for uh, the purposes of this demo, works perfectly. So the other thing I want to show you, so I'm going to hide this layer for now, is I'm going to show you a radial gradient. Radial gradient. Okay, so going back to I'm going to use the uh, rectangle tool and I'm going to select a radial gradient to start with and I'm going to start by just clicking and dragging the square directly over my stage just like I did with my linear now the other thing is I'm going to select my ra uh, gradient transform tool I'm going to select my radial gradient and before I start changing all the colors and everything I just want to go ahead and show you how this tool works so you can slide the uh, pretty much kinda like where the light source is with that little triangle 
you can adjust the position of it just like you do with the linear gradient you can expand the size of it make it more of an oval shape you can expand or decrease the size of it okay and then you can rotate it and the only way you're really going to notice the rotation is let's say you do something like this and bring this over and then rotate it you'll start to see that it rotates so I want to keep mine a default uh, circle circumference of a circle kind of thing um, I don't want it to be any oval shape or anything because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my palette my color and I'm going to start to add color so the first color I want it to be is yellow a bright bright yellow and then following that because that's going to be my my sun and then I'm going to go to like a red And I'm just kind of looking for some colors that I would really like to have here. And mm -mm -mm. trying to see if I'd like it to be blue first, to be sort of like a sky. And then what we're going to actually do is I'm going to start it at approximately halfway. So, oops. So it'll look more something like this. And obviously, this is uh, going on to the, the following project, is that I would have like a cityscape or a uh, some type of landscape where you'd only see approximately half of it until it raises. Um, go into here. And I think I'd make this one a... this one I want to be alpha zero and it's just a little too harsh and crisp there so I'm going to zoom out but I do like it so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and adjust this slider just a little bit more and Maybe this is at like 75, and then this is at like 55, or 65, or 90. How about that? Okay, so now I've got my sort of linear, and I'm going to bring these over just a little bit. Because I would like it to sort of be like that before it turns into the sunset. Okay. So now I have frame one right here. And then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to press F6. I'm going to go ahead and br just bring this down. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And there we go. So the other thing I'm going to do in here is I'm going to obviously go back to create shape tween, go through, play this back, and now I've got this sunset. So I'm going to zoom back in for you and play it one more time. Oh, I have both of them playing at the same time. So I have to play right here. So there's my sunset so you can adjust the alpha on them um, and things like that so that was a 
a pretty good demo on the sunset and then I was going to tell you about color change and I'm going to add this to my swatches as well so now just to show you again I've got that radial gradient and then these are my sunset gradients and things like that so I'm gonna undo that okay so on this color let's just say I wanted to change it as it went down right on the very last frame I could change these colors just make sure you have it selected and then go in here and let's say by the time it reaches this point I don't need that one and let's just see what happens so it should sort of fade that color out and you can start to get some really really neat little um, effects going when it comes to creating sunsets and things like that um, so that covers pretty much everything on the gradient transform tool up to this point and um, if you had if for instance like uh, some kind of like a, a landscape or something this would start to look really really nice so that covers everything on this particular lab if you have any questions go ahead and message me um, and I hope you enjoyed the uh, gradient sunset lab